Previously, on Waldwick Elimination Season 5, Henry Stickman and Stan Marsh became the first non-troublemakers eliminated. We did a talent show challenge, with none other than the new Sinatra, Ethan Clark. The earthquake struggled to get points, while the Hurricanes wowed us by doing some awesome talents. The Hurricanes were able to pull off a win, which put the The Earthquakes up for elimination. So, who will be sent home today? Will this next challenge be mindful? Will my berry smoothie ever arrive? It's time for you to find out, on today's episode of, Waldwick Elimination, Season 5. <laughs> So Harry, why are you back for season 5? I actually never asked that to you yet, well, the reason why I'm back for season 5, is because I barely had any screen time, and I got eliminated way early. Since we weren't on the same team at that time, I never really got to know any of my teammates, no worries, I understand dude. Say, mind if we try to focus on today's elimination? It's about to start soon, no problem. I am more serious about that right now. I hope I survive this time, and do my best to continue survive, today's elimination will probably be very tough. I could picture myself being the one booted off. Oh well, let's see what happens. I'm surprised that Waldwick is not doing or join this season. Well, whatever happens in episode 10 might be a bit surprising. If I just last a little longer than last time, I can try to go to the merge. Trust me, I have never made the merge. So this would be so cool. Hello contestants. The name is Ian Callahan, and today, I will be your prize hander. Let's get started with the prize votes. Remember, Farron won the prize last time, so he will not get any prize votes this time. Isabella, Murdoch, and Peter Griffin only got one prize vote. Shelley got two prize votes. Harry Potter got three prize votes. Alright, looks like Boombox and Balthus are brought tied with 5 votes apiece. I will choose who will get the prize. Brad gets the prize. His prize is a ticket to the MLB World Series in October. Now, let's see who will be sent home. If I call your name, you will get a piece of paper. Here we go. Farron, you had immunity, so you are automatically safe. Great job. Boombox and Harry. You both are safe with no votes against you. Congratulations you two. Murdoch and Isabella, you both are safe with one vote against you both. Great work. Alright, you three all got more than two votes. Remember, one of you is heading home, while the other two will be safe. The next player, safe with three votes, is... Beth is a brat, with three votes against him. Great job. What? I'm in the bottom two? That's not good at all. Well, looks like the brute might not be surfing today. Peter Griffin and Shelley. You guys are in the bottom two. One of you will be sent packing, while the other will be safe. The last player, safe with four votes, is... Shelley. Which means, Peter is eliminated, with 12 votes. Sorry all family guy fans. That's totally fine. Even if I didn't win for my family, or Nicholas, I still had a lot of fun. It was so nice to meet some new players for the first time. Good luck to the other players, and I will see you all in the finale in October. Poor Peter, he didn't deserve to leave the show this early. Well. I guess everyone has to stay and leave this show anyway. Let's hope I don't end up in the bottom two again, since I faced it this elimination. I'm very happy that I won the prize this elimination. This I believe might be the second I won the prize in this series. Still in it to win it for you Hemi. We have another special guest today. For the first time this season, 
we have a contestant from a Vyond reality show that's going on. This right here, is my buddy Henry Gibson. He has an amazing idea for a challenge today. Go ahead and explain it Henry. No problem Waldwick. Alright contestants, my challenge today is a guessing game. I like to do guessing games in my free time, and I want you all to solve my questions. The team with three questions correct, will win the challenge. So, for this first question, I need one person from each team to come up to me. Wow, a guessing game challenge? That's interesting. Reminds me of the Shy K9 quiz challenge back in season 1. Well, let's hope we can try to win again. Listen, I like to do game shows, but guessing games are so hard to do. I don't know how he's going to describe the questions, but let's see what happens. Alright, here's the first question. This question is about Camp Animal Crossing. I am known to be strong, but I'm not a jock. I am kind, but I am not a vegan. I have a family, but I lost my mom. Who am I? Well, if you're thinking about someone who doesn't have a mom, then I think Bill might be the correct answer. That is correct, Pen. That's the first point for the Hurricanes. Alright, round 2. This question is going to relate to the Trixie squad. How many members were there supposed to be in the matchup? I'll give you some answers right now. Is it 98, 92, or 100? I guess I'll say 92? Is that correct? I'm sorry baseball, but that's the wrong answer. Now, let's see if Harry knows the answer. Alright Harry, what's your answer? I believe that there might be 100 members originally in the matchup. That is correct. The score is now even. Round 3. This question is going to relate to a Get Grounded series. Which troublemaker was responsible for burying Ethan Clark and disrespecting his babysitters? Is Dylan Dawson the correct answer? Because that one makes sense. That's not correct Murdoch. Let's see if Eleven knows the answer. Alright Eleven, what's your answer? I'm going to go with Trophy. Trophy would most likely do stuff like that. I don't think Dylan is tough enough to bury someone. That's right Eleven. Hurricanes now take a 2 to 1 lead. If they get this next question correct, they win the challenge. Round 4. This could possibly end the game. If Toothy gets this question correct, his team wins. If Isa gets this question correct, we go to one more round. Alright, this question is another one about Camp Animal Crossing. Here we go. Who was, the first female contestant eliminated in Camp AC? Oh no. I don't remember that at all. I need to just say something. Come on, Isa. Think, is the correct answer, Ellie? That is correct Isa. We are going to one more round. Let's see who will win it all. Alright, this is for the win you guys. This final question will be on Waldwick elimination. So, here is your final question. Which contestant, said this phrase? Let's just say, I took some cycling classes from my friends. I'm not sure if this is correct, but is the correct answer, Clark? Well Mike, your answer for this question, is... Totally 100% correct. The Raging Hurricanes are safe from elimination once again. Congratulations Mike, you are the MVP today. That's totally fine if I didn't get the question. Phrases are sometimes hard to get. Well, let's just hope that I survive again. I am so happy that we're safe again. We don't have to worry about someone heading home now. Woohoo! All right viewers, vote off someone to leave the game, and vote someone to win the prize. Remember, Brad won the prize last time, so he can't for the prize again. As usual, voting ends on the ending screen. Thank you all so much for watching this episode, and we will see you guys in episode 8. This is Waldwick, signing off.